I get your beef with Joshua, but you said Wilder kissed my black ass too. Like, yeah. <laughs> like why exactly don't you like Deontay? Though? I mean, we got our own personal reasons, you know what I mean? Like I said, we was cool back in the day, you know what I mean? But, you know, certain things were said, certain things were done, and, and for me, it's like, when you start moving like a punk, I can't respect you. Now, I'm not gonna go into details about it again, you know what I mean? But it is what it is. Maybe one day we have a conversation about it or whatever, but right now, I think it's war, you know what I mean? Who's sick versus Fury, man? Who you got? Man, I still got Tyson. He's a bigger guy. You know what I mean? Usyk he, don't he really got no power. He ain't lose a little bit from that. And I got mean, no fight. I mean, he, man, he fought a 275 pound guy that can really throw power. But, but uh, come on now. If, I don't if, see Usyk doing. But if you fought in Ganu, I'd be, I'd be the shit out of Ganu. Well, okay, so, but if you're saying that, then why are you trying to say that, you know, Fury fought a big guy, 275? You're kind of yeah, like giving but, him like an excuse. But you understand, I'm, big, I'm bigger and I'm meaner than Tyson. Mm. Style made fights. You know what I'm trying to say? I'm talking about Usyk, who's what? 220? You know what I mean? Don't really have uh, heavyweight punching power. He's good at moving. But if you got somebody laying on you, throwing jabs at you, not afraid of your power, it's a different fight. So I'm still going towards Tyson and the Usek fight. Uh, and I don't think it's going to be the worst Phoenix fight, but I'm still leaning towards Usek in that fight. You know what I mean? It is that Usek has problems with big heavyweights all the time. Um, I, I remember, I mean, shit, you, you kind of have beef with everybody, but you had a little bit of an issue with um, the other big baby a little while ago. Oh, my, that's my son. That's my yeah, son. him. So, so my, Jared, my son, Anderson. That's what you should call him, not a big baby. He's a little baby. Right, he's 245. That's Jared, my son, Anderson. That's what you want to call him. What do you um? What do you think about him? He's twenty three. What do you think about him? Man? No, I think. I mean, I think he got a bright future still. You know, what I mean, his heart's a little respect. You know, what why I mean? do you because, say that? Because the interviews and things that he say and do. You know, what I mean, sometimes mm -hmm. you gotta watch how guys talk and the conviction in their voice. You know, what I mean, you're not catching me on no camera crying. I don't give a shit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But uh, like I said, man, we just from two. We from two different aspects of the world. You know, he's from Ohio. And I'm yeah. from Brooklyn. You know what I mean, he's built there. You know what I'm trying to say so. With that being said, I don't. I, he hasn't been in no real tough fights yet. You know what I mean? He fought Charles Martin, which was a good fight. Charles Martin, I think, had what seven days' notice. You know what I mean? So, you know, he, he's not tested yet, and he's still young too. But you know, don't, don't try to bite my style and you know, trying to make it seem like he's a great thing since sliced bread. You know what I mean? But time will tell. Um, last question for you on the whole um, heavyweight thing. I mean, look, you haven't been in any wars. Um, you're 35 now, though. 34. And 34. 34. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got me off about one year. Yeah, I think Bob Trey told me 35. Yeah, but it's all good. Um, so, yeah, you know, that's usually around the time when guys are just like, they start to slow down a little bit. They start to... Heavyweights? Nah, 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 nah. Well, it's usually around that age. Nah, 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 nah. Heavyweights are like around 37. That's usually... That's usually they're drinking, partying. You know, doing extracurricular activities. Well, that's what I was gonna say. I've, I've never seen you drinking, haven't seen you smoking or no anything party, like that. Don't smoke. I haven't seen you in any wars or anything, nope. so. No cuts, no bruises, never been dropped, never been stopped, none of that. Exactly, so do you think you have like a long time left in the game? Or? Yeah, I think I, I definitely got more than more than the guys that are in my, in my, in my, in my age group, I would say like the Deontay, the Tysons, the Dylan Whites, the AJs, like I definitely got more. And these guys, these guys been in wars. I mean, each one of those guys have been in wars, you know, been dropped, either been stopped, been knocked out cold, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I definitely feel like right now the name of the game is, you know, kind of living like a Bernard Hopkins kind of lifestyle, you know what I mean? It's kind of living in the gym, eating healthy, you know, getting that sleep, that recovery, you know what I mean? And that's when it really comes down to at this point. Are you expecting Wilder to take out Joseph Parker pretty easily? Uh, or? Man, man, Joseph Parker's my brother too, man. So, you know, and Wilder's American, and it's like, <laughs> I want to see both men do good, even though I can't stand Deontay Waller. Like I need the Ameri I need I need him to keep winning, and I keep winning, and we can do American showdown when we get rid of all the European guys. And Paul is my boy too, so I want to see Paul do well. So in that fight, all I can say is I wish the best man wins in that fight. Gotcha. You know what I mean? just, just um last prediction. Can you just give me a prediction on a fight I'm really looking forward to this weekend? Benavidez, Andrade. Who you got? Uh, Andrade's my boy, man. So Andrade better whoop his ass. That's all I can say. Got it. You know what I mean? Got it. Appreciate you, brother. Say no more.